So the way to get started here is, uh, well, is to start with creating your team. Uh, you might already have one when you start up. Uh, before I go to teams, I want to emphasize the tutorials here. And so we have very detailed and good tutorials for each section and everything I will describe here today, you will find in these tutorials. So for example, what I'm going to talk about regarding team and group sessions. Uh, this is all on the same page, by the way, but you can go straight to the relevant sections. And here you have four videos on drill collection, practice planning, and so on. And they're short. And uh, I would always watch these because you're going to learn details that uh, you won't learn otherwise. And these are YouTube videos. So if you go here and, and uh, okay, if you go here and check it out, I also want to point out that in the description for each YouTube video in this playlist, uh, you have, uh, if you have a specific question, you might want to look here and see if you can just go straight and see the answer to it. Okay, so we divide them all up like this. Um, all right, but yeah, let's go and create a team. Uh, some of you here might already know this, uh, but yeah, you have to keep it, stay with the basics. When so here in Teams, you should have all of your teams created, okay? And it's easy to create a team. You just go up here, click on this little button with a plus. That's the same in all of the desktop version. You will see these same buttons in many places. And then you create a new team or a group. Give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, Webinar Demo 2 Team. You decide, do you want to allow the players to be able to send messages to you or the coaches. Uh, if you want the messaging system here, you will uh, enable it. Players can never message between themselves. They can only message the coaches uh, or you can uh, enable a group chat, okay? And then you have settings here for the attendance, whether you want the players to, to be able to register if they're not coming to practice, for example. Often, if you have this selected, you might want to have marked attended by default, and they only have to register if they're not coming. Well, it depends. Coaches have different uh, ways of doing this. And the last one here, which I would recommend you don't have on as default, is to hide the practice content from the athletes. That means that they will always see the schedule, but you could also hide the content of the practice. But you can do that for individual practices. It may be better. We get a lot of great feedback from coaches about sharing the practices so they can prepare mentally. And then you can select a color for your uh, team because you can have many teams or maybe you're working in a club with many teams. So each team should have its own color. If um, that's it. And that's the only thing you have to do really. Then you just add the, the coaches to it and the athletes. So yeah, to, to put the athletes in, uh, you, um, you can either click here on the plus if an administrator in the club had already created the, the players, and then you can just find them and add them. But what's more likely if you're doing this all yourself, you will simply have to go to user management. Uh, there you have sections for each type of user, coaches and athletes. If you have an account that allows family members, you can have that too. You would go to athletes, click register athletes, and with the athletes or players, you're, you're not going to create them one at a time. You, I would recommend you create multiple users here. And you just check the team you want them to be put in. There will be a default role here when you do this the first time. It's probably going to be called athlete role or client role. Just have that selected for the beginning. That's fine until you learn more about all of the different axes. Press OK. And then in this window, you can copy paste from a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to go to a spreadsheet here. In the spreadsheet, basically only two things that are needed, the name and the email. Um, the name can be in one column, the whole name, or in two columns like here. It doesn't matter. 
once you copy this, just copy it here, and you go back here and press paste cells. XPS will ask you, you know, is this the name or first name, last name, and so on. Just press OK, and then you just press create users. Now I'm not going to create these here, but if you create the users, well, the next question would be, do you want to send them the emails for logins? And either you do it right away, or if you want to uh, wait with that a little bit, because sometimes you just want to create the players, work a little bit more in XPS, prepare some things, and then send out the login information. We can always just say no to that question of sending the emails. And later you can come back to athletes when you're ready, select them here, right click, send login information. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that. Again, in the question section of this webinar, I can come back to all of this if there is anything. But again, I uh, just want to remind that there is a user management section here. So you can always go here and all of this with more details is shown in these uh, minutes here, these videos. Okay. Um, let's see, we keep going here. So now we have a team and I'm going to work now with my XPS team one here where I have the players. Now in here, you can also, once you have a player in here, you can click on them here, change some of their information and see what groups they are in and so on. Um, there are more details here. I won't get into that here, but uh, yeah, I would again recommend the video. But, uh, but we have a team. We have the players. We might have added our co-coaches in here too. For the coaches, I would just, it's easy to create them just one by one. Create single user, add their information, send them the email, and then they're on board. Um, so now we're ready to start to doing something. Now we're ready to make a practice plan, for example. Uh, before we make a practice plan, I want to talk a little bit about the collections down here, because these are the collections are the building blocks for everything that you're doing in XPS, really. Uh, so the first collection here, these are the drills. So those are the sports specific exercises that you're working with. Um, so here you, you should be collecting, you and your coaching staff should be creating all of the drills in here that you want. I'll make an example of this. Just going to run through these here. Exercises. Those are the uh, individual exercises or well, those are the exercises you put on workouts, okay? You can put drills on individual workouts too, but these are typically the, uh, the physical exercises, for example. And we have a bank of uh, 2,500 physical exercises with videos, description, and everything. The nice thing here is that, of course, you can add your own. Everybody will need to do that at some point. And you, you can go in even to these here and change them as you like. But this saves you a lot of time that you will find a lot of the things about the physical exercises already in here. Because that's a little bit more standard than what you're doing in the sport specific section. Documents. This is uh, anything else. Any media, video, PDF. Uh, any kind of documents that you want to have accessible, shared between the coaching staff and shared possibly to the players, uh, you will put into the document collection. Tests and information. These are, um, let's say you want to measure something, some progress or either a physical attribute or some skill level uh, testing. Then you have to have a test for it. There are a lot of tests in this bank already, but it's so easy. Again, always the same button, just create a new test. Maybe I want to have, uh, yeah, it can be anything here. Free throws, made free throws, you know, out of 100 free throws or something. It doesn't matter, you can, you can create anything here. Then you just decide what, what are you measuring? Are you counting something or is it distance, time or weight? 
and so on. And yeah, then you have a little bit more extra options which uh, give you more power, but if you just make it simple like this, here's my test and now I can start using it uh, when I'm registering results about players and so on. Same thing with information. These are the building blocks for all kinds of forms that you're sending out. So you're collecting information into these fields to use in reports, which I will show in some other examples. Um, let's make a drill. And uh, so I'm here and uh, I'm just going to put it here on the root. Usually I would put it, I mean, you're going to have this in, a, in your organization to be able to find it easily and to be able to do statistical analysis on it based on where they are categorized and so on. But let's just create one new here. Call it demo drill three. I can base it on a template. Um, let me show you that. That just means that, let me show you what happens if I don't. So here I just create a demo drill three. And now I have to click on my headline. So, you know, maybe I, in my drill here, I want to have setup and, and coaching points, coaching points. But I don't want to do this for hundreds or hundreds of drills. So I just create those in a template. And when I create my next drill, demo drill for, and it's going to remember this setting. It's actually going to remember it for the whole account. So if you set this, it will be automatically on for the other coaches too, working inside the selected account. So now when I create demo drill for, you can see that it's it already has these headlines, right? Um, then you just, I mean, here you can write your text. You can go over to this gray box here. You can add a video. This is for adding a video from your own computer. Uh, you can add an image too. You can add a diagram. I'll show you how that works. But right now, I'm just going to add a video from YouTube. Okay. So you click add YouTube. It asks for the URL or embed code. Actually works with Vimeo too. But it's the most common one. Here I have a, a soccer drill. And... You can just take this here, the URL, and copy it. Or you can right click on the video and copy it from here. Or, for example, like in this video, uh, this guy, I mean, it's, it's a good video, but let's say the drill th that I want to show doesn't start until here, and I don't really care about the other stuff. I can take the URL at this current time, okay? Um, yeah, then we just go back, we uh, paste this in here, and there we have the video. Let's say we wanted to add a diagram too. I can click here on Playbook. You can also click here, it's the same. It's just opening up the drawing tool. And I'm sorry guys, I run a little bit fast through this, but again, it's a walkthrough. So uh, usually in a one-on-one -on -one setting, we would have questions right away, but... Uh, I'll just try to do this a little bit quickly. Um, now I'm in the drawing tool. It has its own uh, tutorials and it's easy to learn how to draw things. Uh, I'm just going to create. Now we have this for all different sports too. I'm, I have basketball selected here. So I'll just make a little basketball diagram. Uh, could do an animation too. Lots of features that you can do here, but uh, more diagram. And I'm just going to put some, let's see, five, yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm just going to uh, put a little line up here. Okay. Maybe I would put names on it. I mean, you can do whatever you want it. Now, to put this into the drill, you press insert into. And you can choose if you want to put it into a drill access document or a presentation, which I will show a little bit later. We'll click here on drill. And basically what it does is it, you have to have a drill open here in the collection to be able to do it. It's, it puts it into that one. Okay. Now you can also, now you can hover over this. Maybe you want to move this one up, delete it, and so on. 
Um, that's it. Super easy to, to create these drills. And, uh, and you can drag and drop them or put them into different folders and, and all of that. And then, of course, anytime you create something in here, it's going to be shown in the, uh, in the mobile app. So either when you're creating a practice from the mobile app, uh, or if you're uh, going to the collections, I'm clicking this button here. And you see here, if I click now on all drills, so you can see the folders. Uh, these are the same folders you, you see. I mean, it's a, this is exactly the same here. It's just on the mobile. But that's what's super comfortable with XPS is that you have access to everything your mobile device um, and here you can either click on a folder or you can search for stuff and yeah here's here's the drill we we just created with the video and diagram and our coaching points if we would have written anything and let's say now I maybe want to uh, share this to a player of course I can do it all from the computer but maybe you have that need when you just have the phone. Well, now I can just click on this button up here. I don't know if you saw it. And I can send this to, to a player. Here. And they will get a notification and they can look at it. Um, okay. So that's the drills. Uh, let me keep going here. So then we talked a little bit about these uh, building blocks. Um, let's create a practice plan. Let's put it to use. So now we're in the calendar and you have to have your team checked. If you don't have a team checked, it's going to be empty. Uh, and when you check your team, you will see your players here too. And uh, yeah, you just go to the calendar and you double click. Uh, and I'm double clicking or right clicking. And then I can make a new practice for my team here. I can do this on the phone too. Um, yeah, I have a practice here where I open it up with some default things already in it, but I need to remove this here. So if you go in from scratch, it probably looks like this. Um, then here on the right side, this is the same drill collection that I was working in in the collection. And now you just double click here on the drills that you want to do. I really recommend using the search bar here too, because it's so easy to, to find things. You can write shorthand. So, you know, if you just write drill, demo, it doesn't matter the order you do it, it's going to find it, okay? Um, but there are many ways of finding. So double clicking or drag and drop. You can drag and drop and double clicking, I feel is a little bit faster. So double click on the drills that you want to input. After you added them, I recommend going over to the minutes field here, going away from the mouse and uh, just writing with the keyboard, and then press the down arrow on the keyboard. That's the fastest way of going between these, right? Up and down arrows here, go between these. fields. Let's say at the end of the practice, we want to add a split, split this up in two. Then you have to use the drag and drop. So now uh, I would have to drag if I want one group of the players to do this and another group to do this. Okay. You can print this out uh, if you don't want to take up the phone on the, um, court and things like that so it prints out very nicely and you have many options here to make it as compact as possible and so on you can even go to the eye here and make it super compact which will always fit on one but you know then you take away all of the pictures and all of these so coaches that use this too a lot of details in here but again i will refer to uh, to the tutorial video about that it's about eight minutes maybe and it will tell you everything that you can do in here, all of these buttons. Small thing will save you time. Here's the attendance, which works great here, but it's also 
very good on the uh, on the phone. So if you go back to the phone here, here, let's see. Here's the practice. When I went straight to the phone, I was in the desktop. Maybe you noticed I dragged with the thumb a little bit down. I mean, it updates every few minutes, and if you go out of it, then in again, it updates automatically. But if you're in it, you can refresh by doing this. So here is this one. Uh, I can change anything on this in the phone, or I could have created it also. But you see here, here you have register attendance, so it's easy to go here and change this, and you can write a comment to the comment is only for the coaches, the, the players will of course never see this. You can see comments that the players write. Um, okay, maybe just show you the, you know, how easy it is to change these things here. I mean, I can change the minutes. I can take something away. I don't know why, but I'm supposed to do that. You can go to modify practice here. By the way, uh, if I click either you can drag here to change order or you know do, do things like that or you can also go to the actual collection and in here once you found the drills you want to do either with the search or going through the folders uh, you can click on these little plus buttons to add them to the practice plan uh, or you can hold down and drag if you want to put it in some specific place then you just go back to the practice plan if you want to put in the minutes and so on. So it's all there. You can also create new drills in the phone. Only the name for now, but we're working on that you'll be able to do the videos and all of that. Good. Uh, so let's keep going. We have this one here. Uh, yeah, one important point about the practice plan. Now you see that I'm adding drills that have coaching points and things like that here, okay? Uh, they come onto the practice plan, you know, when you add them. But once they're on the practice plan, you can go in here and add your own text or delete this text. I mean, it's, it's, maybe you just want to write team A something and team B. Basically, this text here is just for this practice plan, okay? It doesn't change the drill itself. If you want to change the drill itself, you're either going to right click and do view here or just click on open here. Now you're working with a template and you could change the actual drill. But it's very comfortable to be able to write whatever you want for this practice by each drill. Uh, you can click up here and then you can go and say, well, after this practice, I want to send out, uh, you know, training load. 10 minutes after this practice, I want all the players to uh, answer how hard it was, you know, or let's say it's a game, you know, half an hour after a game, I want them to answer these three questions for my report. Uh, and then if you want this to be made after every game or every practice, check this one here. This is all in the tutorials, but this is a super powerful feature you can do with it. All right, uh, one last thing here. Sometimes people just want to add text on a practice between, you know, they don't need the minutes. You have add text here as well. But now we'll close this one up. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a great way to get started. Just starting to put in every, every coach has to plan their practice and this, uh, this is a good way to start. Uh, I forgot to tell you one thing because this will happen to you. What happens if you're planning a practice and you don't have the drill, right? Well, that's easy. You just like you would do on the phone too. You just create it right here. You don't have to close and go to the collections and create it. Create it right here. Give it a name, two on two. Later, you can go in and put the video. If you're in the process of planning a practice, you just put the name in, it's ready, put it on the practice plan, you can illustrate it later. But this makes sure that now you're getting the statistics, it's here, 
you're building your bank is you can grow organically like this okay so then later you can put it to the right folder okay and um, so we've seen shown the playbook collections the practice plan how to create a team i think we're pretty good here uh, i would like to show the athlete profile a little bit Maybe show also how it looks for a player. One thing here I didn't show. Now, the, I was only working with the team calendar, right? But let's say we go on a player here. We got Bobby Kirsty. Let's say I press on his name. That means I'm focusing in on him. And that, that's why you see his uh, name here and picture. Now I'm viewing his calendar. Now he's part of this group, so that didn't change. But you see all of these blue ones here? These are individual workouts. Now I'm not going to create those here because they are a little bit different. This is where you start having sets and different attributes and so on. But, but it's easy to do that too. And you can create workout programs and all of that. But let's say I just, uh, let's say I check these athletes here. Focus, obvious. Again, looking in calendar. I'm going to go here to my templates. I can do it straight from the calendar. They are also down here, okay? And this means workout templates. This means practice templates. And that's simply reusable practices or workouts, individual workout programs. Um, so right here, I've created a program, lower body A. Looks like a four week program. Now I can drag it from here. I want it to start the week. Just drop it here. For what players? I want Brian Chin to get it. Okay, what are the training days? What are the times? Yeah, I say okay to this. And then it's uh, putting these workouts in. So now Brian here has a workout program ready for him. Okay, and let me show you how this uh, looks on the phone. So I'm going here, now I'm logged in as a player. And uh, yeah, here's lower body A uh, for the player. This is another player, this is uh, here. And if I click on this, this is an individual. And you can put anything. You can also put sport specific drills into here, or you can put that they're being tested. You know, there are no limits on that really. But it's super comfortable to see this. And and they see exactly what they're supposed to do. They can go in, they can uh, put their weights in if it wasn't there already. They can see their development. And that's development on this one. They can see the coaching points and everything. And uh, this you can see the videos on how to do this. And once they're done, they just press complete it. And who was this? this was Nick Murphy. So now you see. It changed in this calendar from being blue. That's not completed. Now it's you can see that this one is completed. Yeah. Now I in the phone I unchecked it so so it stopped being completed. I, I wanted to. Um. Yeah. So that's a workout. If I stay here a little bit again, he has access to the practice, so he could go in and prepare, see a little bit what we're about to do there. But he also has two uh, forms, readiness form. Uh, these are simple questions. You can create those yourself. You have templates from us, which are very good and, and work well, but you can also tweak it any way you want. And this is in your language too. I mean, we have 22 languages. So yeah, uh, I've already answered this one. This was how, how I was feeling as a player. But let's say the practice is done. Then I get a notification on my phone about this training load. And it was uh, it wasn't so somewhat hard. Time is filled in. That was the only thing I had to do. So it takes uh, five seconds. That's why it's easy for them to do it. But what do you get here instead? You get all of this, these reports here. Let me go back. Well, this one. Well, it's only Nick that has answered today. So, uh, 
that you see how the whole team is doing. You see, you see the players who are maybe, this is the readiness one, who haven't been sleeping well. Who you might need to talk to. and Maybe make it a little bit easier. You can go in and see more details. Let's say Bobby was, you know, not doing so great. Or you can go in here and see well, what, what's happening. Why, why was this dip? I see that it's because, uh, what was it? Well, he slept four hours here. You won't feel great after that. Uh, but in here, the athlete profile, you, again, you have templates from us, but, and we'll help you set this up, but you can set up anything that you want in here. And we connect this to Catapult, Polar, training load, test results, how is their progress, how is the team progress? You can share this with the players. This, what you want to select with the players, you know, COVID forms. So it's very, it's very customizable. So that was that. Um, yeah, I think I've shown pretty much. Except I haven't talked about the analyzer. Uh, I'm not going to show that uh, because we're pretty much we can't have this too long either. But uh, for the ones who want to start with the analyzer, again, just uh, use the tutorials. These tutorials here take less than 10 minutes. You can get started with the analyzer. That's for tagging your video, okay? Uh, tagging your video, making video presentations, sending videos to players. We try to make it as easy as possible, okay? And yes, I think you can start in less than 10 minutes. Start tagging. Um, I can show a little bit. I mean, I would say that uh, presentations is maybe more when when you made video clips that uh, that you want to make a little nicer presentation because usually it's super good just to make the tags and and work straight with the clips. But uh, there is also a new feature here. We haven't uh, released this one yet. That's why you're not going to see the presentations out here until after a few days. But uh, this is for putting in the video clips and then you can uh, put text on here. You can draw on this. This is a new feature that we're about to release where you can uh, put these, uh, yeah, text and little animations on here. Okay, I'm writing in some. Yeah. It's here. This one, and it's just, we try to make these things easy to use, and this one is going to be super easy to use. But what's nice about it is it has these animated effects, so, which kind of can help the player, you know, see the eye goes to where the little effect was and they see it. So, export this and send to them. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll stop now and take questions, uh, guys. Uh, it's, uh, I think I've shown, uh, I haven't shown everything here not at all and the users on this uh, webinar know know that but, but this is a good place to start so any any questions let's see i have one here okay what about analyze training yeah okay i didn't show that one so yeah okay i'll show that um yeah, he, I mean, this is because again, right away when you start creating the, the team, just the team practices, uh, you get the chance to go to team statistics. And there's a tutorial that shows this, but it's super simple. Just go to team statistics. I would probably make sure that players are unchecked and press execute query once you have even only a few practices in your calendar where you've put minutes to the drills. Because now you can see exactly 
what have we been spending our time on for the last week or month or, or so on. Um, and when you see this, this is all based on how you categorize your drills. So, and if you categorize the drills in accordance with your coaching philosophy, then you can just go in here and then double click and see exactly. Now, this is not a good example here, but you can just click back and forth to see how things are being, the time is being spent on. You can also see this in a line chart so you can see how things develop over time. Yeah, you can do it here. You can see it per player. You can compare different teams. So for a club, this is just great. Now here we have another question. Can the information be shared between trainers or groups of trainers? Yeah, that's a good one. And let me, uh, let me go up here a little bit to, to show this. It's important that when you're working in here, you are, if you're in a team, and you want to be, you know, many coaches to be working together in a team. That's why you should have the team account selected here. Now, team account is something you get from Sideline Sports. We help you create that. So now I'm working inside the Sideline Sports team. So that means in this team, now I'm, I'm an administrator, so I see it. You know, I can see all the coaches. All of these coaches are inside this team. Now, they might have different access. Again, this is for the administrators, of course, and there are tutorials about this. But the access decides what they can see and what teams they have access to and so on. But yes, within a team, everything can be shared to the ones who should see it. But then you can also switch to your personal account. And every coach will have their own personal account. Some coaches will not have to use it a lot, but maybe if you switch teams and, and the team that you, where you were creating all of these material allows you to, to maybe take some of your things with you, and most teams do, at least the ones we have experience of, uh, then you can keep going with the things that you build up. And that's really the point. I mean, we, we make this for coaches. so. We have coaches who have been with us for 20 years and uh, they've built up amazing collections, right? And that's what you want to do as a coach. You, you want this to replace your binders, right? Um, yeah, I hope that answered, answered that question. Um, okay. So yes, definitely. Oh, maybe, and also you as a coach, you can also go here and click the connect button and you can connect to another coach. Uh, which maybe is not part of the team, but you can connect to them if just you want to be sharing your own personal things with another coach. So that's possible as well if you have that kind of account. All right, guys, if there are no more questions, I, I just want to thank you for this session. Um, I've been recording it, so we'll, uh, we'll cut it up and we'll post it uh, somewhere on uh, social media too. So, uh, and then you can always send us questions in email too. So thank you guys. Bye-bye.